Adventure Kids on the way, you better get here fast. Adventure Kids is the place where the fun always lasts. Wake up and jump up, cause the atmosphere is changing. Grab a seat, get some friends, get ready to have a blast. Hi everyone, how's everybody doing? Thank you so much for being here with us today. Boys and girls, with the temperatures being so hot above 100, I hope you're taking advantage of that water hose outside. We don't want to be cooped up inside for such a long time, right? Before we get started, what do you think that I need? I need my hug. I need my virtual hug. So let's go ahead and get that done together. Ready? You put your right hand, you put your left hand out, cross and squeeze. Oh, that feels so good. Boys and girls, I am going to take that and I'm going to put it right in my pocket right here so I can use it later on. That's amazing, thank you so much. Now what goes well with a virtual hug? Prayer, that's right. So let's go ahead and start with our prayer before we start anything else. Go ahead and close your eyes. Father God, we thank you for today, we thank you for yesterday, and we thank you for tomorrow. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that you give us peace in every home, Lord, that is connected today. Father God, I ask that you give us that you give us freedom, Father God, that we don't feel cooped up at home, Lord. We thank you for that, and we ask that you open our hearts, that you open our ears for the lessons that we have today. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, let's jump into our scripture. Our scripture for today comes from the book of Colossians, and it's gonna be chapter three, verse 23, and it reads, in all the work you are doing, work the best you can work as if you were working for the Lord, not men. Isn't that amazing that anything that you do, either small or big, we have to work as, a, as if we are doing it unto the Lord. Now, we are going to be jumping into the topic for today, and we're going to be talking about leadership. Just as big as a word as responsibility. Leadership, basically what it is, is that when we do a really good job, we tend to be put in charge of other people, which is a very important job as well. Now, boys and girls, we are gonna be talking about a Bible character, but I'm gonna give you a hint. So go ahead and close your eyes. Close them, no peeking. Now, boys and girls, you can open your eyes. Does my shirt give you a hint of who our Bible character for today is? That's right, it is Joseph. Now, his father loved him so, so much that he made him a colorful coat, kind of just like my shirt. And his brothers were not very happy about that. They were not so, so happy that they sold him. They sold him as a slave. Now, boys and girls, Joseph is now in Potiphar's house. And because Joseph did such an amazing job as a servant, Potiphar put him above all the other servants. That made him the head servant leader. So his job was to put and give assignments to everybody. Somebody go get the pizza, somebody go and get water the crops. We need to water the crops. The leadership that Joseph took was amazing, boys and girls. And he found favor with God as well. So now what happens? Now he gets blamed for something that he didn't really do. So he ends up in jail. Now, if I were Joseph, I would not be such a happy camper. But Joseph was such a good prisoner that he found favor and, with God and with a prison boss. So guess what? He became a leader. He became and he was put in charge of all the prisoners. And he was in charge of making sure that everybody had what they needed. Now, boys and girls, during this time, God placed a talent, a gift into Joseph. And he was able to tell other people what their dreams were. So, isn't that amazing? Now, doing this, he got somebody's attention. Who do you think? He got Pharaoh's attention. Now, boys and girls, Pharaoh had been having such bad dreams and he needed somebody's help. So guess who he called? Joseph. 
So Joseph travels all the way to Egypt and he sits down with Pharaoh and tells Pharaoh what these dreams that he's been having mean. Now, they were pretty scary dreams because he foretold that Egypt was coming into a very, very hard times. But guess what? People were able to prepare for that. Ultimately, the people of Egypt were saved because of this. Pharaoh was so, so impressed with Joseph and the leadership that he took that guess what? He placed them in charge of the whole land. So boys and girls, in a nutshell, Joseph went from the pit all the way to the palace. And through all of these situations, God gave him favor and he was a great leader in all the things that he did throughout this, right? So his focus was on pleasing God, not pleasing other people. Boys and girls, how important is that to keep God number one? And we have to keep him in focus in everything that we do, in all situations. Now, boys and girls, let's find out what our adventure team kids are up to. Let's see what leadership skills they have. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a bad idea. How are you doing? This was a terrible idea. I told you from the start it was a terrible idea. No, not the experiment, this helmet. Yeah, that's just as bad. Oh, the smoke gets into it? That's a, an astronaut's helmet. We're not astronauts. Yeah, you know, I just thought that this would be a decent face mask, but you know, I think it works better in space. We didn't even have any monkeys involved. Come on. Yeah. You know, we really have to think about ways of doing experiments better. We really should become better scientists. Speaking of science, what is all this? Oh my, yeah, the kids with the... Okay, so I signed us up, okay. just don't get mad. I signed us up for a kid's show. Something about community service, and we're gonna be doing experiments. What are we filming? It's live, so we should probably... Hi kids, I'm Mark, the scientist, and this is a very nervous guy. Um, And we're super dudes. We're not super, but that's the name of the show. So hi, we're super dudes, we're and we have dudes. a great experiment for you today. We're gonna do some really cool projects, and so get ready to get messy, get ready to have fun, and get ready for a little bit of science, I think. I'm Daniel. Okay, boys and girls. So today we have a really awesome experiment for you. We're gonna be making slime. Now you've probably made slime before at school or at home, but we wanted to make it today with you. I know you might be stuck at home, bored. And so we wanted to use really basic ingredients, maybe stuff that you have at home, maybe stuff you've seen on the show before. So first off, we're gonna be using glue, right? We have a lot of glue. You might not have this much, it's okay, use what you have. This is Elmer's glue, basic school stuff. Then we're using something called an activator. So what this is, it's gonna make the glue not so sticky. You can use borax, laundry detergent, uh, baking soda. From then, we also need to use a cup, something to mix in. Uh, I like plastic cups because we can throw them away afterwards. You can just throw it in there and watch everything mix in. Paint, so then you need to use your favorite paint, right? Whatever color, make sure that it's, it's a nice, a washable paint so mom dad make sure you're very involved in this there's gonna be a bit of a mess sorry something to mix with we're using these wooden little sticks I, I think Dan ate all the popsicles so a measuring cup something to measure in and something to, to make sure that we do this right okay because we don't want to just throw stuff in there we got to be scientists and then last but not least small little paper cups that you can put stuff in to pour and then throw away. So for our first step, we're gonna use glue and our cup, okay? So we're gonna pour six ounces of glue into this cup. So we've already separated two cups of three ounces and we're gonna pour it into the cup. So for our next step, we need our stirring stick, the activator, which is laundry detergent, baking soda, whatever you can get your hands on. Pizza sauce. Not pizza sauce. And a, uh, oh my gosh. So, and we also need our measuring cup, okay? So we're gonna pour a quarter cup of activator. We already did that for Dan. We don't let him do it himself. And we're gonna put it into the measuring cup. 
And this is an important step, Dan, okay? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to slowly pour some of the activator into the cup of glue and stir. Did, did he pour it all? I think he poured it all. Oh, my God. We can get some pizza sauce. It fixes everything, actually. It's okay. It's okay. We can work that out. We just got to make sure we stir. So little by little, okay. we're going to stir and pour. Say it with me, Daniel. Stir. Stir. And pour. And pour. Stir. Stir. And pour. And pour. Okay, so we've been mixing for about 10 minutes, right? And so you got to make sure it's really sticky. You might want to add more activator just to make sure it's got a really sticky consistency. You want to make sure if you pull your, your stirring stick out, it kind of jumps back in. It should look close to the last time that you were sick or your dog was sick. A little bit, a little bit, yeah. So now we're going to get really gross. Are you ready? Are you ready, Daniel? We're going to pull yes. out the stirring stick. Put it onto the side somewhere that you won't get dirty. That's fine. And we're going to stick our hands in there and grab the slime. And we're going to pull it out as much as we can. Try not to get it on your table, on your dog, on a sofa, on your little brother and sister. And we're just going to get as much of that out into our hands. So the next step, it's really gross. So we got to just knead it in our hands. We got to just mix it around. Mix it around to make sure it gets stretched out and that it just turns around. But as you do it more and more, you're going to realize it's going to get less and less sticky and it's going to become more and more of a cohesive mask. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ah. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls. So once you've mixed it real nice and it's all sticky and you got it in a, a, a I mean, as best of, of a ball that you can figure it out, right? We're gonna add some color. We need a little bit of pizzazz, right? So we're using finger paint. Try to use something that's washable. Um, what color are you gonna pick, Dan? I'm gonna take this neon green here. That's more of a forest green, but I'll take the black. Mm -hmm. See if we can make some black slime. So really carefully. If you have help, it works. It helps. It's best. Mom, dad, help us. Um, is this brown? We'll see. Wow, boys and girls. So how did yours turn out? Yeah, I know. Mine turned purple, right? Who thought? Didn't you use brown paint? No, I didn't use any brown paint. It was purple. So with enough time and enough kneading, you can even leave, leave it on the side and just let it sit and it'll become nice and cool. It'll be really cold and it'll get less sticky with time. It'll bounce a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm missing that whole bouncing thing. Did you have fun, kids? That was a terrible idea. Because we had really, we had a lot of fun. Admit it, you had a lot of fun. We had no fun. We had a lot of fun. I'm sure you guys are thinking the same thing we were. What are we gonna do with the rest of the one gallon of glue and all of the activator we had left over? Well, we wanna do this for you. So if you're wondering why we're so tired, because we made a lot of slime. We made a big old bucket of slime. So this is for you kids. This is the bad idea. We'll see you guys soon. We love you. And we'll be back soon. Oh, if no. they let us. Hey, there's a spoon in here. <laughs> Tuna doesn't go on trees. Five more minutes, Mom. This dolphin owes me money. Fatima, where? Fatima? Mm hmm. I have a double cheeseburger. Extra gravy. Easy on the llamas. You still need to pay for your tax. Tony, my gosh. You scared me. Dude, when you're talking in your sleep, Scared everyone. What do you need to talk? Yeah, I heard you called. What's up? Uh, Fatima, you sent me to the wrong gig. I'm sorry about that. I. Three times. Huh? You sent me to the wrong place three times. I ended up performing for a bunch of dogs at a puppy hotel. Aw, you're so nice. That's not the point. What's going on? You missed the last three meetings and you're sending me to puppy hotels. <laughs> Is that what that smell is? No, that's the rats, or 
what they left behind. Ew! It's okay, don't worry, they're all gone now. I'm sorry, Tony. It's just, I've been very busy and tired lately. Art classes, piano lessons, tennis practice, oh, helping with oh, chores, oh. band practice. You're doing all of that? Yeah. Fatima, why are you doing so much? My mom. Your mom? Yeah, she put me in all these things. I don't think you can be a good leader and do all of that. A leader? Yeah, you're like one of the leaders of the band. We all count on you. I didn't know I was a leader, though. Well... Sometimes it doesn't have to be said. If people follow you or trust you, you're probably a leader. Well, I can't get out of any of these things. Do you want to be in all of that? No. Then why are you doing it? I guess it's because I'm kind of good at all of them. And my mom gets really happy when I come home with awards and prizes. You get prizes in art? Yeah, speed painting. I gotta get out of this garage more. Fatima, do you still want to be the manager of the band? Yes, this is my favorite job. I love organizing and making sure everything happens. Then tell your mom that. Tony, I don't want to make her sad. I think that if I tell her I want to quit all this stuff, she will be sad. Plus, she loves going to my tia's house and telling her how great I am at this, or how good I am at that, or how fast I am at painting a building with a mop. How fast can you paint a building? That's not the point. The point is, if you're not happy, then you should talk to her. But what if she gets mad? Fatima, being a good leader means you can't make everyone happy all the time. You can't change what you're doing just to make someone else happy, even if they're pressuring you. You need to finish the job you are set to do. But what if you guys end up getting mad at me someday because I'm trying to be a good leader? We probably will, but we're your friends, so we'll get over it. The person you should focus on is God. What does he have to do with this? When we do our jobs, we're not trying to make people happy. We're trying to make God happy. And how do I do that? By doing the best job you can with your responsibility. That's it? Yep, it's pretty simple. I think God likes it because it keeps us organized. I don't know. So what about my mom? Well, we love having you as a band manager. And if you really want to keep doing it, you should talk to her. Tell her that you love it and that you're a leader and that you're important. We can't have our band manager falling asleep all the time. I'll try. Thanks, Tony. It's nice to have a friend that listens. Always funny. No, what is that smell? It smells like... Barbecue? Oh no, it's the rats. The what? I, I put in a, 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 a tunnel and I put a bunch of signs saying... And, and? And I dug the tunnel to El Paso. Oh, I hear country music. Hi, Dr. Edie. Nice to see you again. I have a small problem. I was online with my friends, and my mom asked me to throw the trash away. It's one of my chores, so I did it. But now, my friends call me a mama's boy. I stopped taking the trash out when I'm online with my friends. But now, my mom gets mad at me. And now, Lily is starting to get mad at my mom too. I don't know what to do. I don't want my friends to think I'm a loser. But I don't want to change Lily also.
Yeah, Dr. Edie. It is my responsibility to do my chores around the house. So I need to respect my mother and do my chores. I'm sure my friends have chores to do at home too. So I will talk to them. Tell them it hurts my feelings when they call me names. I know they'll understand. And I'm sure that Lily will follow my example and start to respect my mother too. Thank you, Dr. Edie.
Wow, boys and girls, that was an amazing worship songs. Do you know that you can talk to God even through worship songs? You gotta practice that. Now, we are gonna go ahead and go over our scripture for today. Do you remember what it was? Here it goes. It is from the book of Colossians, chapter three, verse 23. And it read, in all the work you are doing, work the best you can do. Work as if you are working for God and not for men. That's awesome, boys and girls. Now, boys and girls, do you know that we are all leaders? That's right. You might be a leader and you might not even know it. Let me give you some examples. Maybe at home, if you are your, an older brother and you have smaller siblings and taking care of them, that could be your job. So you are a leader over your siblings, right? So that's good and that's gonna help mom a lot too. You are blessing her. Now, take it back to when we were here at Sunday school, right? When I was giving the charge or I needed a helper to pass out juices and somebody else would pass out chips, that's a leadership position. You were important. How amazing is that? Not only that, you were showing the whole class what it is to be a leader. So and you, are, you in turn are inspiring others because now everybody wanted to pass out juices and that was such a great help. Thank you for that. Now, let's look and think about school. I know that we're not in school right now, but I wanna challenge you and I wanna see how you can think of in becoming a leader when you go back to school, right? helping your teachers, uh, setting everything up, cleaning up afterwards, right? That's a very important job. Something maybe like what Joseph did. Anywhere that Joseph was, he was doing the very best job and that put him above everybody else, right? So doing a very, very best job, whatever it is, whether it's at home, at church or at school, when you honor God and you do your very, very best, God blesses you boys and girls, and he gives you favor and blessings anywhere that you're at. I don't wanna leave without giving you the opportunity to know Jesus the way that I know him. So let's go ahead and say this prayer together. Are you ready? You can put your hands together. Say, Lord Jesus, I need you. I receive you as my savior. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. I love you. Amen. I will see you next week, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us. Be safe, be happy, and be blessed. Adventure kids are on the way. Let's all have a blast today.